and uh, welcome to Railway Ross. We, uh, today we're going to have a look at uh, Seaton Junction. It's a Heritage Series simulation from PC Rail again. Now this was uh, originally released in August 2014 so it's uh, not a new one. It's been out quite a while and uh, just going to have a quick look at it and run a few trains. Uh, the date of the timetable which is included with the simulation is uh, a summer weekday in uh, 1959. So we'll just have a quick look at the original seating on Google here, see what's uh, see what the situation's like. Right here we go. So this is a uh, this is a over our overhead picture of view of the station area. You can see all what's left now is a single track. This is the station building on one side. It's a private residence. Looks like part of a canopy is still there. And this footbridge is still there. It's quite a long footbridge as it includes part of the branch. And so there's four tracks through Seaton at one time. The uh, station and the branch closed in uh, 1966 to passengers and in 67 to freight. And the branch closed at the same time as the station. Uh, so this is a branch down to Seaton. You can follow more or less the track of it on Google Maps. And of course, there's two stations, intermediate stations, Colliton and Colliford, Seaton being the terminus. And now we can see part of the track bed is used by Seaton Tramway, which is a, a reduced size trams. I don't think the full size trams, the miniature trams run on narrow gauge track so we can follow that down if you don't mind me scrolling down there's the next station at uh, Colliford is that yeah Colliford and then down further down towards Seaton we've got the main tram depot side of the estuary now the original track went straight down and this is the site of the original terminus at Seaton. The tramway has been diverted, quite a sharp core curve, the small tram, so not too problem on this. Track continues into the terminus for Seaton tramway. So as you can see the the uh, looking at the diagram, the top of the screen is actually sort of south. So from from the Google Maps it is uh, it's the other way around so this is a single line now to Seaton there's no intermediate signal boxes on there so this is the uh, single line instrument which we've got uh, let me go and put uh, I've got a thing to make the mouse easy to find excuse me a bit uh, mouse out right there we go that's just so you can see the mouse easier. Right, so that's the single line instrument. We've got the main line going to Exeter, Southern Railway line going there, and that goes all the way through to uh, Waterloo. The next boxes we're working to at Exminster, and this side we're working to Oniton Incline. Single line one is to seat, and so this is all our block instruments. As you can see, the main lines go right through so you don't need to uh, call at the station if it's not booked to stop and then we've got the up and down local either side we've got a small upsiding on this side and some downsidings and a dock on the other side signal boxes shown there on the station uh, facing point locks for the exit to the loops and the entrance uh, the downsidings was actually uh, controlled by uh, levers not connected to the box so these are in the 100 series so they're shown at the end of the lever frame there right we'll start to run it the evaluation version uh, starts about seven o'clock uh, it is designated as a moderate difficulty level on PCRL site and it's, uh, it is that it's not too not too um, difficult to run um, 
say well I've got a widescreen monitor so I've got a, a space either side if you've not got a uh, widescreen monitor you just probably look a lot different now I'm going to try and run this for the first time we have not tried this before I'm going to try and run this with using the mouse clicks instead of the menu so I'm actually going to click on the bell and use my left mouse button to uh, send and receive bell signals so we'll see how that goes for the first time now there will be some gaps in this uh, one as well large gaps especially on the branch as the trains take a while to uh, to obviously travel the distance of the branch um, the distance to the adjacent uh, boxes that will be under the local information just have a quick look so we know roughly what fringe boxes axminster three miles 22 chains uh 80 chains per mile of course on it an incline nearly three miles and the seat and branch four miles 16 chains so there's a lot of um waiting probably on this uh, demo but i'll uh, try and speed that up a bit in between so you're not sitting there watching a watching nothing happening sort of thing so let's uh, let's get get it started, and we'll see uh, see how it goes. Now, one one important thing on this is the clearing points. Now you'll see on the uh, on the local lines the clearing points just beyond the points. So this is so we can have a train arrive at the station. We can send out a section. Then sometimes you might get a train pass it on the main line. Uh, same the other way as well. So. Because these points, 17 coming this way and 46 this way, are in the clearing point, they must be set and locked before we accept the train. So on the down line, we've got this 2C61 coming in, stopped at the station for three minutes. So before we accept that train, we need to set these points. So I'm going to set these points now. Now I've not got... To I've not got the lever sounds on. I'll put those on just for uh, so you can see when I'm uh, changing the points and everything. Right, we've got a call attention from Axminster. I acknowledge that with a one. Three one is the bell signal for a class two passenger. I'll acknowledge that. Train goes to uh, blocking string goes to line clear. Now, of course, we're not using menus. You need to know what the bell signals are. Um, most of them say three ones, class ones four, light engines two three. Uh, class four, if you need to know, it's quite simple. Look under help, look under bell codes, and it lists all the bell codes. So if you're not quite sure which bell code it is, have a look there. Class four, three one one. Right, so I've accepted this this train now. If you notice, the demo says starts about seven o'clock. This doesn't arrive till 7.16, so why is he offered it such a long time? Uh, this is because he's, he's had the train offered from his, the box previous to him, and he also stops at Ex Axminster and Seat, Seat and Junction. So there's quite a lot of lay times in between, or waiting times. Now we can put this on, uh, put it on skill level 6. And if you try it any higher, some of these expressors do come through quite quick. And uh, you have to be a bit smartish uh, pulling and putting the signals back. Otherwise you can miss, miss doing things. So I'll leave it at 6 for now while I go through the layout. Um, right, so this one's on the down line. We can actually set the loop points as well at the end because there's nothing going past it. So we release the points with the lock. Clear 39 and 37. Right, we'll just check the next on the up. That's also booked to stop for two minutes. So again, we can set the points for those. So unlock, cross over 46, lock the points. You notice a facing point lock on the, the ends of the loop. This is just because they've got a slight uh, run, running well it's probably a track point at this stage i don't know how long that track was right this is called attention from on it an incline
that's four bells I acknowledge. So the first time I've used the uh, the bells using the mouse for a while now, so it seems to work okay. There's another way of, of doing it as well, of course, is using the uh, the F keys. So if you go on to, uh, let me check what it is. Ah, here we go. If you click on options block bells, you can put those on menu as well. Now, if you don't know which keys they are, the Axminster bell is using the F keys. So we use F4 for Axminster, F5 for on it an incline, and F6 for seating. Um, but you have to remember those. It's a shame it doesn't say on the block, but um, you might end up pressing the wrong bell or something like that. So I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that on mouse clicks. Right, so we can see this one is uh, class two on the down. is actually now breaking for Axminster. So again, it's still a long way off before it comes now the only thing i have forgot to do for the up train is set the exit point so i need the uh, facing point lock on 21 20 is the crossover and lock the points again <clears throat> excuse me the distance signals 1 and 55 only apply to the uh, through lines so if the train is booked to stop in the down local you you won't get you won't be able to clear the distance now if you haven't set these points correctly and then he sends you train entering section and you go and try and clear them it obviously won't let you clear the points in the clearing point although in in actual reality you could do that of course you should be able to have a warning or a telling off but anyway there is a way around that all you need to do is simply wait until the trains come to stand at the signal the uh, first home signal so when this, once the trains come completely stand you can then ch change the points directly in front of it again the clearing point is just a margin of error in case the train overruns the signal by a short distance the clearing point on the uh, through lines is is the uh, the home signal or the starter signal so number four on the down through and he must be clear up to that and on the up through he must be clear up to 53 <coughs> the uh say this is the single line that's got a fixed distance coming from seaton uh, if the train's booked to stop at the station you don't need to caution him to 10 miles an hour he can clear the signal before he's at it and he will just come into the station now these these passenger services from uh, <clears throat> Seaton Junction to Seaton, they was mostly uh, push and pause. So the loco stopped at one end or even in between two coaches. Uh, and you can have a look on this one. This is the passenger off the branch, 2E01. And that's a, the P is push and pull, two, two coaches, auto train. So the driver it from the, uh, the coach or the local right we've got train entry section monitor we can uh, I think the trains booked to stop so I think we can clear that signal can offer this train on of course to Axminster four belt and clear the signals that's the yes uh, start to 51 on the section signal is 50 again the white stripe indicates locked by line clear so we've got three signals locked by line clear 50 which is on the up main uh, number eight which is on the down main and of course on the branch number 12 this signal is uh, can be cleared once we've got a token or tablet art i'm not sure i think it was a tablet instrument on that line but it's a single line instrument that's uh, all we need to know if you want to find out more information about the historical side of seat and junction there's plenty of things on the uh, on google train entrance section from axminster i acknowledge that again is booked to stop so i think we can clear the signal um 
we can offer this train on to uh, Mornington and on, off onwards to Exeter. It's a 3 1. And clear the a starter. That's uh, the intermediate starter, I think that's what they call it. And then the advanced starter or section signal number 8. Different regions use different uh, nomenclature for the signals, that's a big word. Nowadays I think they just call home 1, home 2, home 3. Uh, I still use the old fashioned terms, home starter, advanced starter. Right, we've got the uh, class 1 coming into Seaton Junction now. Sometimes class 1s do go right through an art book to stop here, but this one is. It's got local numbers on this timetable as well. 35026. And we've got 31846 on the other train. During uh, during the timetable later on, I think there's quite a few. Um, there's a few freight trains which start where you're taking wagons off and adding wagons onto the train, which uh, makes it more interesting. Art is breaking at the station. We can put uh, the arm signal back. He's clear of the clearing point. So we'd, we'd have confirmation from the guard, the train's complete, and we can send out a section for that class one. Call attention to Monitor and 2 1. He's four minutes in the station. Any, uh, if you need to do any shunting, um, we'll be doing it with this one slightly. This locomotive light loco comes off the branch and shunts into the upside in, so he comes um, <clears throat> comes on the branch line. Now there's a few ways you can do that. You can either run him down onto the down main, across onto the local, up local, then back into the sidings, or we can come down this way. And run it that way this will depend on um, what other traffic you've got at the time so this is a decision you have to make they have not set any late running on this one and i've got the uh, skill level set to six which is just slightly above real time as you progress or you get familiar with the layout and trains and the signaling you can speed that up as much as you want Obviously, if there's nothing running or nothing on the system, we can use the time advance, time compression, and then if this lights up, quick time advance, that will speed you up to the next piece of the action. Right, this class two is now broaching into the station. We can put the home signal back. And it's in the clearing point, so we can send out a section to Axminster. Call attention. And two one on the on the bell. Right. <clears throat> Just a minute to go before this one leaves. It's not too taxing the timetable, you can have a, a scroll through. It's basically a half hour service on the Seaton branch. And I've got one or two shunting things happening later on. And that runs all the way through to 23, 23.
Right, what's happening? Okay, he's leaving the station. Send train intersection for that one to Axminster. And then we can replace 51. It's also started to move as well. So the next train on the up is again booked to stop at the station. So we can leave the point set. Everything's set for that move. It's gone past the section signal. That can go back. But if you need to check the timetable, Windows timetable, you get a list of the full timetable, which you can copy, amend, you can add trains to it. Add a few extras. Uh, I've just got the standard timetable installed. Right, back to this. We've got uh, better send entrance section for that one. Replace six. And seven. And uh, there he is, just gone clear of eight, so we can put eight back. All right, so we <clears throat> put his feet up a bit and wait for our dissection from... Uh, Either side, both the block instruments from Axminster is showing train online on the up, which is the one going away from us that way. Uh, on it, an inclined box is showing the online on the down as we've got a train going towards him. So we've got two trains both going away from us. There's a class there, uh, just notice a class three. Oh, look at this. Yes, local freight from seat and also conveys coaches. All right, so there's a bit of shunt in there. Detached rear two vans, coaches. Hmm, interesting. Quite a bit of British complicated moves there. Well, it's not really complicated, but involved. Uh, this one's now slowing down for Axminster, and it just tell you it's actually at Axminster as well. So they'll be sending out a section probably when that one's uh, leaving the station. Depends on a, on the layout, of course, there. Just... Um, Increase the skill level a bit to try and reduce the uh, waiting time. That'll call attention from Oniton. And that's our section for that one. Of course, everything's in the train register. If you want to look at that Windows train register, I've got the upside. This is today's date, of course, not uh, 1959. And that's the up train. So it's basically got all the trains when they've been accepted, train intersection, outer section, what line, and when we've offered it forward, sent train intersection forward and 
received out of section that applies for the upline as well obviously that it's not filled in yet as we're still waiting for out of section from Maxminster the local information is all there as well we've got locking details as per all the simulations for heritage types uh, again you see one distant one is showing you on the down line tells you what sig uh, signals you need two reverse four reverse eight reverse basically all the signals throughout and that's the down distant so it's not too difficult the locking on this one tells you when you need to caution trains as well so yeah have a look through that uh, that's always useful and the local information has a bit of about the history of the location as well of course there's always full help on the simulations as well he's got a searchable thing if you've not done an absolute block working at all all the information's in there Gives you quite a nice guide on how to work, work absolute block. Right, he's just setting away now from Axminster. Oh. So hopefully, yeah, we shouldn't be waiting too long. So if there's any large pause pauses, I will try and uh, edit those out. Right, that's the call of attention. Oh, we've got another bell. Let's go and do one at a time. Now that's uh, our section acknowledged. Let's uh, acknowledge the call of attention. 3 1 for the class 2, which we can accept. And the points are all set. The uh, 1C46, that's a through, tr through train, no arrival time, passes at 8.01, so he just comes straight through. Right, <clears throat> that's the uh, Seaton Bell. I'll acknowledge that one. Right, that's the light engine. Now, as I say, he's, he doesn't arrive till 7.50. It's only 7.30, so it takes taking him 20 minutes to, uh, to travel on this entrance section as well. The only thing with these signal line instruments, it just says from or to. It doesn't tell you when you've received train entrance section of course like once I've acknowledged this one from Oniton it will go to online right I can uh, he's booked to stop so I can clear 52 I can offer this one on to Axminster so I call get him out of his chair and send 3-1 and then I might as well clear the signal, so that's 51. I'll use the lever frame. Sometimes on the complicated layout, especially when there's lots of points and uh, facing point locks. If you've watched the Tunbridge video, you'll, you'll see how complicated that one is. I tend to use the, I tend to click, you know, on these, uh, on the actual point themselves. Oops. So, uh, oh yeah, I can't clear 25 because I've got 24 locked. So, yeah, that's the route into into the downsidings. I don't need those at the moment. I'm just uh, illustrating your downsidings 1, 2 and 3. Obviously 2 and 1 is like a loop. You've got a dock there, upsiding. I think there's a dairy as well. at Seaton, large dairy. Right, anyway, he's, uh, let's see what we are. He's travelling at 30 along the branch, so it'll be quite a while. And then we've got the Class 2 just arriving in the station. 
Now do we need to caution this at number 10? Probably because we're going to have to use the shunt 2 command to uh, decide on which, which path we want to take this light loco. We can decide that near the time. There's, there's plenty of time left for that. Uh, you've got another train coming off the branch at 8.03. Then you've got the downline occupied between these times. So that's coming into the station. And then, but you've got this through train coming at 8.01. And then 2E, 2E01 forms 2E02. So I'll say it's a push pull. He goes, arrives at 8.03, spends five minutes in the station. Connects, obviously passengers can catch this train if the, uh, if they're wanting the connection now to Exeter right this one's stopped so we can uh, place the signal back and send out a section for that one right so we've got uh, line clear all the signals are off he can depart in a couple of minutes whichever way you decide has got to change the direction so you've got to go one two three or one two three so he's, he's got to change his direction twice anyway so there's no easy way you don't want to stitch that train up so you should have plenty of time 750 801. Yes, that's the time. 750 is the time he arrives in the upside, and not the time he necessarily arrives at Seaton Junction. So we should be well in clear. So we can decide either way. Next one on the up is actually going straight through, so so I don't forget I set these points at this end of the loop. We've set it ready, so I can all lock the points. Move forty six the crossover and lock the points back up. So he's now set on the up through. At least once once a year, when he offers me the train, I can then just accept it straight away, and and now I've got these points in the right position I didn't it's not very nice to have to stop a class one thundering through just because you've got the points in the wrong place right he's off on his way we can send entrance section to Axminster and we can replace 51 ah, here we go we've got this light engine coming in now he's slowing right down so I can clear 10 and bring him up to the uh, starter I can also get these points set. So let's put 50 back first and let's also change these points. Right, so all this route is now set on the up to go on the up through. Right, points are set and locked. So I'm going to change these. I'm using the diagram again. Sorry about that. I'll use the lever frame 28 and lock with 29. I'm going to use the shunt 2 on that, so it's right click, shunt 2, and I'm going to stop in behind 30, so we could clear 11, oh I've done the diagram again, 10 can go back, we've collected the tablet or token off the driver, it's the light engine, so it should be complete, we'll still check his tail lamp, and we can send out a section to Seaton for that one, I'll call attention, and two on. You have to remember to put the ohm signal back before you send out a section. Otherwise, it, there will be a message come up. <clears throat> right, okay, so he is uh, put 11 back. He's now stopped there, so I think we'll run him down this way. 
So let's unlock the points. That's 29. 28, lock the points, and we can give him 30 signal. We can click. We'll get the crossover at 15 across, and we can give him 18. And also, just to stop him going down to 50, because drivers aren't very clever, we have to uh, use the shunt tool and stop him behind 13. So I'll put these points back for the uh, up through and uh, I don't need them for the up through do I? I need to move them so he can get back back running down the up local in the down direction never mind so I put 30 back class 2 is act Axminster and right so the light engine is stopping behind 13 so i can put 18 back i can put 15 back oops i'm using the diagram again sorry unlock this crossover which was in the right position before 13 ground signal come back into the up local now he's going in the upside here so we need 33 points and the signal 31 right so he is signaled all the way through into the upside in yeah 744 so yes yeah, uh, plenty of time to do that move if they give you a bit more time on these arrivals it's it's so you can decide which way you want to go or if there's if you of course you're running if you've got late running set which i'm not trying on this one you've got to, the option to use late running uh, i can go through some of the settings another time on that it's quite an interesting way of setting things up um got my own technique on that one for class ones I use 10% for class twos I use 20% 30% and so forth so class nine this train it could be 90% trains affected and I'd also use that figure for the uh, lateness in minutes so class one I've got 10 minutes class two 20 30 and so on class noughts I tend to just have 10 10 minutes 10 15 minutes light engines aren't usually delayed so 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 the less the class one passengers are less liable to be late or run late than the class nines obviously the freights can get stuck in loops and have all sorts of problems so that that can make it quite interesting it's switched off at the moment of course if you do change the uh, late running profile click it on the current run or the current run what you're actually doing at the time it won't take in effect you have to start you have to so you'd have to set all this up click on late running on and then you'd have to click on file new and then it will take that data into consideration and you'll see all the trains which will show you what minutes late and everything right he's uh he's going into there let's put 13 back and they've just disappeared now, so 31 can go back. And we'll just lock the points just to make sure. Right, let's get this uh, crossover back so I don't forget that one. 20 back, 21. Right, he's, uh, he's due to depart Axminster uh, 7.47. So a few half minutes or so after that, we'll get out of section. Right, let's see what we're waiting for now. The, uh, the one off the branch. Stops at Colliford and Colliton, which are basically the only two intermediate stations on that line. I think there was a signal box at one of these at one time. It must have been closed quite, uh, quite earlier on. So they do sections 
from signalling point of view is Seaton Junction to Seaton. Right, Axminster to calls attention. Which I acknowledge. Right, any leak. Can't speed anything up, I'm afraid. So there must be a bell signal due in the next minute or so. <clears throat> so say, I will... Uh, I will try and take any gaps out if uh, if nothing's happening. Right, yeah, here we go. We've got call attention on the branch. Class two, three, one. Uh, that's if he, off he goes. He more or less offers this train on. Well, the station's leaving, so it's not long before we get train entrance section as well. Right, this, as you can see, this is left at 50. He arrives at uh, 8.03, so that's another 13, 12, 13 minutes away. So I shall try and cut that bit out. You might see the speed go quickly. Another one on the down, which will be offered on in a few more minutes, because he stops at Axminster as well. 8.05 arrives, 8.06 departs on the down. So again, he comes into here. The point's already set from the previous train, so we don't need to do, don't need to change any points. <clears throat> Push and pull arrives at 8.03, and he departs back down the branch at 8.08 then he's back again at 8.37 that's the next train and it's the same loco so he, he must just go up and down the branch all day and if drivers ever got fed up with that probably not but the seasons change etc it's a different uh, Thing every day oh right class two has been offered on the down let's accept that see one again sixty miles an hour he will say will be breaking shortly for axminster this one's breaking on the branch it's not arrived yet is just coming into Colliford, so it tells you exactly where he is on the branch. In real life, you probably wouldn't know that information unless, unless there's somebody at the station brings the signalman and tells tells you where he is or where time has he arrived. I think the first indication you would have is hear him whistling, whistling. He comes round the corner for the uh, so he could clear the signal. There's no, there's no reason I can't clear ten signal now. But uh, I don't like seeing signals off a long time for no reason. I don't know why. Just, uh, just doesn't look right. I suppose it's from the days of train spotting, seeing a signal off and waiting and waiting and waiting, thinking, where well, is this train? Although with coloured lights, it's completely different. They're green, obviously, all the time, so you don't know when everything anything's coming. Ah, oh, he's just leaving the station again, so he's speeding up. Right, we've got the up. Through train being offered on the on it and yeah, sometimes when you try and click four as uh, nice as you can, it does uh, sometimes pause depending on the speed of your computer. Uh, if you have problems with the bells, they are different. Uh, 
settings you can try you've got pauses between bells that's 0.3 you could try and increase that if you want or in between groups of bells and you've got a mode little tick there that's uh, again it says it's for enable disable for optimum bell performance so if you're having problems with your setup it's worth trying changing these settings remember what they are at the start in case you have to revert back so I'll write it down 0 0.31 and then just try different settings. Anyway, back. I don't know if it pauses it when I do that, so sorry for wasting your time on that one. Right, as you can see, he's coming to it quite a speed. Now, if we wait for train entering section, I'm not sure if we'd have time to offer on and clear the signals before he it's the distant so in that case there's nothing to stop us offering this train forward which I shall now do and call attention to Axminster and send four right and then I shall clear the signal so this time it's 54 which is on the up through 53 start of 51 uh, sorry 50 not 51 and then we can clear the distance this time 55 which is as it is shown here a colored light distant to aspect capable of showing green or yellow same with number one that's showing yellow at the moment when it's cleared throughout and one can be pulled it will show a green right so these arrived at Colliton quick stop there and off he goes this one's arrived at Axminster right this is for the class one so would we have time we probably would have time actually it's quite a quite a distance away to work on it and incline Now you'll see, because I've got this on uh, skill level 7, right, you'll see this one come through quite quick. Class 2 has just left Axminster, I can acknowledge that. There's no reason why we can't offer that one on. I cleared number five so it can come into the station and then we'll offer that one on. And we can clear the signal six and seven and eight. Right, as you can see, this class one's coming through quite quick. Uh, you've not got much time just come back I'm back better call attention I mean send entry section as you have done there it's gone straight through it's quite a quite a yeah it's come straight through 80 or oh, even the it's gone past the starter we've not even sent out a section form yet which I will do now Right, this passenger is not too far away, so I could clear, if it's booked to stop, I can clear the signal, it's just hit the, uh, just hit the, signal, the track circuit now. This one is, last one does stop at Axminster, so he's showing us slowing down. So that's the push and pull arriving, stopping in the station now, it's terminated, we can put signal 10 back. Signalman would walk across to the driver, collect the token or staff, stick it in the machine, and we can send out a section to Seaton.
Now, in real life, they'd probably offer that train on a straight away, get the token or tablet out and go to the driver, then clear the signal. But it's 8.08, so we've got five minutes. And um, this is the class two, two C eight one. This is just arriving at the first track circuit and breaking for the station. That's changed now. Change code automatically from two E O one to two E O two, and it forms this one to see in on the branch. When do we offer this one on? Well, that's not to cause any delay, so as long as it's uh, before 8.08. It can easily be forgotten if you've got a lot of traffic on the other lines. Right, he is coming into the station. He's actually stopped. We can put five back. And we can send out a section for that. That's two. Leaving on, he's leaving the down platform now on the uh, the local. Six back platform signal. Right, this is out of section, presumably. That was for that class one. Remember to send train into section. This is the seven signal coming back. It's 807. This one departs on the branch 808, so let's call attention. Offer this one on. 31 for class two. And then we can clear this signal 12. So, oh, it's off already, look. That's because I've got my uh, my skill level quite high, so that it's uh, each minute goes quite quick. Right, this uh, eight can go back. Train into section on the branch. Then it's easy to forget, and uh, it's gone past twelve, so twelve can go back. So he's on his way back from whence he came. So again, he stops at both these stations. So it'll be quite a while before he gets to Seaton. So we've run from seven o'clock till nine minutes past eight. Uh, once this one arrives at the branch, I'll try and uh, increase the speed a bit. See what we've got. He comes back, the upside in light loco text me. So that's the one that went into the upside in. So presumably, done a bit of shunting. So you just that's straightforward, just comes straight out the upside in up loco and to up main. That's another one of these push pulls. And then we've got a freight on the down. Obviously, the freights through freights can use the through lines. No need to uh, put them in. Oh, then we've got this all oh, right. Class three. That's a call attention for monitor. That's out of section. So we've just got this one on the branch now. Uh, it'll be quite a while before we get there. mentioned before that uh, we can have trains coming into these 
uh, loops on the local while we have trains too. They've got I've just found an example of one here, look, eight eight Charlie well eight C zero one. He stops in oh he actually stops in the down through, so no that's not a good example. Ah, that's the case of the other way round. We've actually got one on the down through while he's detaching wagons and everything. Uh we've got a train on the which arrives on the down local in the station so he actually passes it that way which is unusual oh, this branch trains at Colliford 817 departs there and he's coming then he should be arriving at seat and not too long after that. Off he goes. <clears throat> breaking for Seaton Station. Now the next one is coming off the branch again. The next one on the down is booked to stop. We've got the points all set and locked from the previous stopping train, so there's nothing to do there. I say this one just comes straight out the side and on the up line. Now we will have to uh, change the points for that one can do that now so I don't forget it a lot of these twenties a lot of them again <clears throat> right it's uh we must have missed a call attention again while I'm over these levers it's overridden the the one bell but I've got these two question marks flashing so I acknowledge that that's me messing about with these points we missed that one and uh, 33 if you want although uh, yeah it's uh, another seven minutes yet <coughs> right uh, can we speed anything up no still won't let us speed up so again that's usually when there's a bell signal in the next minute or two right is uh, this is the seat and signals offering this one back again He's off on his way, he's breaking for the box, picking the uh, token up, and we'll get into a section. Right, so he's got 17, 20 minutes or whatever it takes to get to us. It's quite a big gap there, 9.46, Although these these times look as though they're in the wrong order, it's it's the time basically except except the train, so the class eight should be offered before that class two and then before that class two, if you know what I mean. So although the times look wrong, you think the fifteen would be there, followed by the nineteen, followed by the twenty two. It's on the the times you receive the bell signals. Oh, we've got two. Oh, that one goes into the upside in. Oh, 
<clears throat> one of the branches is pulling into Colliford. If, uh, if there's a big gap, you can always speed the simulation up and then slow it again. But right, this uh, Max Smith has called attention. The one was offered the class two. Now he is stopping at Axminster as well, so he's quite away yet. It's only 8.28 and he'd arrived at 8.41. This one should be popping in any time now, this light engine. And there he is. Again, we get a little window up there to accept it. If we select no, of the only reason we do that if we've forgot something shunted them out or coming into the into the layout itself, e.g. if you've got late running on, obviously normally you would select yes, and he pop on. It's breaking for signal, so we can clear the signal to come out the upside in. They default drop him into station. And while we're doing that, we can offer this one on to Axminster. Okay, light engine. Let's note that's a 2 3. I call attention. And 2 3. Right, so we can just signal him away. So 51. Platform signal and 50. 54 can go back. Uh, I think 33 should go back. Yeah, sometimes the signal locks the points in rear. And send train intersection. So he's gone out the upside in on his way to Axminster. Doing a bit of shunt in there. 51 can go back. And it's also cleared 50. So that can go back as well. Now if you remember we've got a... Oh no, we've already had the through train, sorry. Next one on the hope is uh, 2 Charlie 62 or 2 C 62 to use phonetics because they use it at work and he's uh, stopping in the station so if we want we can get these points set ready so unlock the crossover cliff move 46 reversed unlock them so we've got the route set now through the local up local for this stopper we know it, it's not due for <coughs> it's not due for another hour but it's all all prepared right what's happening so we've got this light engine going away from us on the up we've already got train intersection we've got this one breaking for axminster and we've got the one on the branch just leaving colliton he arrives at 8 37 Again, he just terminates in the bay platform and then he'll form to Echo 2 EO4 to Echo 04 and that leaves at 8.47. So he's got 10 minutes to uh, fill his mash, fill his, uh, mash can up from the signal box. Again, you can clear 10 signal uh, whenever you like. Presuming there's no conflicting moves made, of course, which there isn't. There's nothing on the layout. So I'll clear 10 now. So he stood in Axminster. This light engine is slowing down. Presumably he's going in the yard at Axminster.
the uh, push and pull on the branch is just to uh, hit our track circuit now. Now oh, we've got train entrance section. That's for this class two from X Minster is into the down low cool. We can offer that one on, of course. There's nothing passes it or does anything beforehand. So call attention to Oniton and it's a 3 1. Right, he's terminated on the branch, so we'll just pull these signals off for this stopper. Five, six, seven, and eight. And we could put ten back. Get the token off the driver and out a section to see them. Well, it looks like the lo loco has stopped at uh, Axminster temporarily, so he's on the move again, so he shouldn't be too long before we get out of section for that one. This is the first, the uh, 4C71 will be the first non-stopper on the down. That's the uh, outer section. That's our section from Axminster for the light loco has disappeared off the train's information. So this one leaves at 8.47. Don't forget to offer that one on a few minutes before. Oh, we're just waiting for this one <clears throat> to approach the station now. This is obviously, uh, these branch trains uh, should, and probably did, time to connect with these uh, through trains, uh, these stopping trains on the main line. Right, there he is, he's breaking for the station. Now let's clear the signal, I can put five back. And we can send uh, out a section for that, that passenger. Right, since the next one on the down is, is a through train, I'm going to get these points set. So we've released 17 with the lock, facing point lock 16, 17 back to normal, and lock, lock them again with 16. So we've got that through to there. Obviously, we can't do this end yet until uh, this one's clear. That is uh, setting off already.
Put six back and uh, send train exit section for that one. And we can put seven back as well. Right, now it's clear. We can uh, put these points for the main uh, through line. So I'm up with it seven. I've got uh, 39. There's a crossover. And we lock. A 37 lock, if you notice, controls two locks. One on 39 and one on 38. I'm not sure why there's a lock on 38. Really, because it's, uh, it's actually a trailing move. But I suppose if you've got any passenger trains uh, propelling over, over these, you need them locked, so they put the lock on. Oops, I've got 38, sorry, wrong, I'll get these 37. And we could put eight signal back, which has been left off for a while. Right, all well, this train's due to go in a minute. Let's get to, it'll be late, three, one. And get the signal off. Right, just done it in time. And there it goes. Oh, let's just uh, recap where we've got things. So I'm waiting for our section 2C63, which this is the one we're getting now, I think. Now remember to send train entrance section on the branch, I nearly forgot. Uh, 12 can go back. Right, so he is potting his way merrily down the branch again, stopping at Colli Colliton and Colliford. So we're in the 20 odd minutes, so we might have to speed that bit up. And then we've got the Class 4 Express Freight going through on the down line. So, as I say, we've already got that set. The points are set locked to that end, points are set locked to this end. So that's all through. Hopefully we should get number one signal as well, which is the uh, <coughs> down distant. Then we've got this one coming off this branch. I say this is quite a complicated one. So where does he, where would he go? Local train, local freight from Seaton. Don't these coaches. Detach rear two vans and take two coaches to down sidings. So this is basically a mixed train this. We've got two vans at the back, two coaches at the front. So the two coaches are uncoupled from there, going to the downsiding. So the detached engine run round via downsiding two. So he obviously runs round this one and attached to vans in the branch platform, which are the ones at the back. Take vans to downsiding two. So he then comes back across here, back into there. Detach engine, right, uh, so you detach engine and run coaches, fire signal 107, attach to coaches and propel into branch platform, right, I see, so we, we took the coaches off first, we put the vans in there, we come back into there, these pro propel back into the platform and describe as two E06, which is a push pull, so the loco is at uh, this end, exeter end of the train. Right, that's uh, you know, it looks complicated when you first see it. You know, there's lots of text and lots of information to read, but just break it down into, into sentences, lines one at a time, uh, straightforward. Uh, 
Right, he's just leaving Colliton. <clears throat> Next stop, Colliford. Right, he's breaking for the station, so uh, we might be able to speed the time up a little bit. I'll be, he'll be offering this one on soon, but at least this class four, <coughs> excuse me, doesn't stop at Axminster or this station, so he, uh, he'll just be coming straight through. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, of course, it's the uh, one on the branch. Right, I'll acknowledge that. Uh, it's, it's, of the outer section, this is the class four. One, two, three, one, one. Right. Okay, so we have to slow this down a bit. So otherwise it'll be coming too fast. So uh, yeah, let's uh, see if we can get the, if we've got time to get the distance off after his center train intersection. The the, uh, the actual procedure would be uh, specified in what is a document in every signal box called the signal box. Special instructions, every signal box had these. Told you a lot of information, usually crossings, clearing points, fog working, fog marking, marking points. And also if you have to pass the train on straight away before you... Uh, before you got to train entrance section. The normal procedure was to get train entrance section from the box in rear. You'd then offer the train forward and clear your signals. Or sometimes train speeds, distances between boxes, other factors. Uh, sometimes you pass the train on straight away. Short sections, that sort of thing. You can see on your on your time so how long it's going to be. I mean, it's another seven minutes yet, so it's coming through at fifty. So we'll just run this one through and uh, call it a day. Time seem to be slowing again. I'll leave it at seven, don't it too fast. You might wonder what the Q is. All forty Q. Southampton docks to Plymouth. Uh, the Q today it means a different thing. It means a train which cannot be diverted from its uh, from its current running time, uh, path. Should I say it's got to be kept, and it would be called for Q seven one. But the Q usually indicates runs as required in the working timetable. So some days they ran, some days they didn't. Queue trains. Right, entrance section for that one. Let's get him offered on. Remember, it's a three one one. Signals. So we've got two. Four, uh, eight, and then the one. There, we've got plenty of time. If he misses the distance, you'll see that he starts breaking. But it's still four minutes away yet, so... Uh, yeah, these with the boxes being uh, not too close to this one, you've got a lot more time to react, whereas... Say on Tunbridge or some of the other ones, 
Oh, we've got the class three offered or coming on the branch. Let's acknowledge that. Class three, that's a one three one. One, one, two, three, one. If you want to pick up the token and then he'll uh, he'll be sending an entrance section for that one straight away. There we go. Right, so he's on his way, he doesn't arrive till 9.31. And he will be arriving in the platform and then he'll do this little shunting move. I suppose we ought to really include that in the video. Uh, we'll see, we'll see what time's like. I say I don't want to uh, make these videos too long because people haven't got all day to watch them obviously you can uh, there's bits you want to miss and fast forward it you can s slide your your thing on your video it says pause and forward just slide the line along along if you've uh, got fed up of me right this class four's still at 50 so it's coming through that is at his maximum speed So the distance can go back, number one. Number two can go back, he's cleared the points. We can't send out a section yet because the clearing points here, of course. Train entry section to send forward. Put four back and we can send out a section to Axminster. Just clear this track circuit so eight can go back and that's that one all done. Just waiting for our section now from uh, Oniton Incline. Now this is yeah another 20 minutes yet for this one. So the next one after this one off the branch is uh, 2C62 that's on the up line and he's booked in the station so let's just check we've already got the point set and lock for that one then this one after we've done the shunting from this class three uh, for the two coaches form uh, 2006 which departs at 946 and then we've got another one on the down line stops in the down through so that's quite an interesting one class eight Comes down here, stops at number four signal, and does all this, uh, all this business. Detach engine, runs round train. That's an interesting move. So he has to go. Well, there's two ways you can actually do that. You can actually go through the down local, and across there, and back onto his train, or you could, you could do it this way, via the up through, or even the up local again behind thirteen, then back on his train that way. So there's different ways, there's different ways you can do that move. And again, it depends on what other traffic and trains you've got running at the time. And that's, that's the call of the signal. That is your responsibility to find a way of doing that without delaying other trains. Now he's, looks like he's stopping at the station. Right, this is uh, the outer section for that class four. And there he goes, right, so yes. Oh, it does look like he stopped the station. Depart, do 9.25. Now, this is actually lit up. So we can click on that. And it's speeded up because there's nothing happening. Presumably it's like a pickup freight. You might do one or two shunting moves or something down there. So he's, he's due to depart at 9.25. So we get him on the move again. There he goes. I'll, uh, I'll I'll probably do that move. That's all right. If uh, it's up to you, if you don't want to, if you don't want to carry on watching the video, you can uh, switch it off, <laughs> of course, and do what you need to do. Uh, if you want me to carry on with this, this little branch move. 
shunty move be interesting to see how it goes i'll carry on and run through that so if you are leaving at this stage uh, thank you for watching so far i hope you find it interesting uh, if you've got any comments please leave them below and i'll try and get back to you if you've got any suggestions or if you want any other, any other simulations running through just let me know and i'll i'll do that so uh, if you're leaving me now thank you for watching and we'll see you again right if you if you're still here and you want to watch this one we'll carry on with this right this up train there is he'll be running through while we're doing this sequence as well now we've got not not a lot of time uh 9 31 arrives he's going back at 46 so 15 minutes not a lot of time to do the shunt so we'll see how we go The V's going in down silence one. We can sort of get this one ready. Uh, let's have a look. So we need 24. Vision point got locked. 25. And locked points right. So okay, we've got the points set and locked for down sidings one. So it takes the two coaches. So we must have two coaches at the front and two vans at the rear. Oh, it's coming in already. That's not too long. Let's clear 10. It's booked to stop there, so we don't need to caution for that. I don't think there's any... Might be some phrase, but I don't think any passages, as far as I'm aware, comes from Seton and then carries on the main line. I think they're all pushing pulls. There might be some uh, specials which might do that. Right, he's arriving in the branch, branch platform now. Now, while we do the shunt move, I'm just going to turn this skill level down a bit so it doesn't uh, run away too much. And I'm going to turn time compression off. Because when nothing's happening like now, the time will be zooming ahead. So, right, we get signal 10 back. And we can send out a section for that. right so what's going to happen to this we can't oh we can have a couple you just have to wait until he's um you'd have to wait until he's, he's changed the code but it's allowing you to uncouple there ah no it's not it says uncouple but it comes up as not permitted now i didn't think i didn't think you could uh one couple of things and mess about splitting them whatever until he's actually terminated so that takes a couple of minutes i'm not sure what he's going to change into ah well he's changed into five zero zero one right let's uh got call attention on the up right he's off let's get this one done so the instructions are still there uh detached rear vans so a couple how we want rear two so that's right new description um i'm going to take the coaches so i'm not sure what we would call those um interesting Uh, class is class five six so ECS stuff so I'm just gonna call that five zero nine nine for now. Right, so E should E should be coupled. This one should be with the loco and two coaches so he can go into this platform. So it must be twenty three for that. Yes. Yes, if I'd have described that one as uh, 2E06, 
it would form that chain and then it'd be stuck there. But it's not the one, that's not the one what forms the ECS. It's actually this one I'm moving out. Right, so here's, here's as per instructed, going to down sidings 1. So once he stops, of course he's gone off the system, it's not track circuit in there, so I put 23 back, held at 36. Right, so we need to uncouple the weapon, uncouple. Um, Oh, a couple of the loco, yes. That's what's is to be zero, 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 001, which we can do with that. So he's held at 36, let's clear 36. Right, off he goes. So we've got these in the branch platform. So we've got to go back to these instructions which is on 5001, which is in the downside. So we've got to detach the engine, run around via siding 2, and attach to vans in the branch platform. Right, so they would take the, those vans into downside 2, right. Okay, so we wait for him to stop. Remember, we've got this class 2 has been offered. I think I slowed this down a little bit, didn't I? Yes, so. Right, he's at the buffer stop, so let's, uh, I could have done the shunt 2 command for that one. Right, I'm going to try and use the levers. That's 106, yeah, 107 should be the signal. Yeah, it's straight out there. Now he wants to go onto the branch platform, so we need 25. Levers locked, of course. Right, that's train intersection. Uh, I'll just clear the signal for this passenger so I don't forget it. It's 52. Um, might as well offer this one on as well. Well, let's just have a look what we've got here. 20. Ah, right, I don't need. Oh, no, I actually need 101. That's the. Yes. So he should be coming up to signal 103. Right, so the downside is 2. So we clear that signal 103. I'll do it on the lever frame. And he can carry on up to his uh, up to the vans. So the call here, yeah, branch platform. That's where it is. Right, anyway, this class 2 is coming in. I'll get this offered on to Axminster. Now we can clear the signals, 51 and 50. So we'll just keep an eye on that one so we don't forget. Right, this light engine is coming onto the, onto the branch. I'll put 103 back, put 101 back. Buffered up, so we need him to couple. So right click couple. Right, so when he's done that, let's have a look. We're attaching to vans in branch platform. Take the vans to down sidings two. So down sidings two. Oh, we needed 101 leaving as it was. Right, so that's all, all set. We've got the passenger coming in. So when he's coupled, we can clear 23 to go into the down sidings. If it takes a minute or two to couple. Right, 
All right, so it's coupled up. Let's uh, clear the signal. Signal clear for opposing movement, of course. We've left 107 off. There. It's going to have a signal. You can't have 23 and 107 off at the same time. It's signaling into the same uh, same track. Right, he's breaking for the station. We can put 52 back. And uh, clear the clear point, we can send out a section. Uh, call attention to uh, on it and to one. That's it, and it's uh, due to depart 9.41. Just, uh, sometimes it can slip away without you noticing, but... Right, so he's, we can put 23 back now, he's breaking, he's in downside, he's 2. So, we'll have to look at the instructions again. Uh, take vans, detach engine, run coaches via 107. Well, run to coaches via 107. Right, so, okay. Let's, uh, that's on his two and couple the loco. Click on loco. Uh, training numbers, okay. Uh, click on the signal. 105. Let's see if he does shunt to. Yes, he is a shunt to. 107. That'll avoid him running down to the buffers. His passengers just setting off. So this five Zulu zero one, he actually describes as two Echo zero six when in the bench platform. If you do it in the sidings, I think it might mess your departure times up. So it's looking for a, sometimes a lot of these locations are what are called designated stopping points, and that's when the times are recorded on the system. So obviously these platforms are this branch platform is don't think these sidings are i'm not sure right let's get train intersection sent for that that local passenger right oh he has gone to the buffer stops well, well even though i sent the shunt to never mind it's probably a very short uh right 51 back right i've put the signal back this time sorry i'm doing the one of uh, we want 106 right 107 should then Signaling back onto his two coaches, which are required for the uh, push and pull. Again, it's 9.42, so we've not got much time at all. And I'll put the signal back 50. Right, next one we've got on the down. This is this one which stops in the uh, down through. Just quite a bit of shunting movements. Then we've got a stopper on the upline, so we can leave all the points set for that. We've got a freight going off scene junction to up sidings. Right. Oh, that's some wagons off that one. Right, let's have, let's see what he's, he's doing. He's braking for these two coaches. He's going to pick up, so I could put one or seven back. Right, buffered up, so let's instruct him to couple up. Let's call attention from Axminster. Right, he's, he's offered that on early. What was it? 3 2. Yeah. I'll just check the bell signals. Class 8. Yes, 3-2. So why has he offered that one? Oh, he stops at Axminster as well. So that's... Uh, he's probably doing some bit of shunting there. I'll say it's another half an hour yet. Still, we've accepted it. We've got the point set. So that's... Uh, is okay. And remember, you've got this other one. Comes behind it and overtakes via the down local. Right, he's still coupling to that. Right, now he's held at 27, so we need uh, 25. No. 
Oh, it's of course, it's this 101 who has tricked me. Right, so that's, yeah, that's actually an point. Right, the route's set into the platform, clear 27. And hopefully it stops in the platform. I don't think we don't need to do a shunt two for that. Ten or eleven, it should uh, it should stop hopefully in the right position. So this one's going to be ages. See that that train, if you got the points in the wrong position there, that that's going to stitch up for say thirty odd minutes. So that might want to be describing as something else. This obviously, this obviously forms uh, probably another train later on. There'd be a, some instructions to fetch two uh, two vans, or in this case, it's got two coaches out to platform two, uh, down sidings two. Sorry. Right, he's in the branch platform now. So we need to re-describe him as two echo zero six. So right click describe, type in the code. And if you look, is due to depart a minute ago. So not much time there at all. Let's get this one offered then. Three one. Signal cleared. And off we go. So yeah, that's a very tight shunt. I've got 27s to off as well. And I'm going to put these points back so I don't forget them. So uh, 24 is locked, 25. Pull 24. Yes, very tight. It's still not left. There we go. Two minutes late, and I didn't think I did that bad really. There, shunting. Probably got the skill level. No, it's only on six. I think it's the timetable compiler's fault, not mine, don't you? <laughs> That's my excuse, anyway. No, I mean, he came into that platform, I rediscovered him straight away. Anyway, better remember to send train entry section. And off he goes, put 12 back. Right, I'm going to uh, call it today there, I think. Uh, everything's all moving along. So, uh, again, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you are, a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be great. And if you want to make any comments below, that would also be great. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again some other time. Cheers for now.